Okay, now for a second example puzzle. Once again, I'm focusing on the most difficult part of my board first. So I identified a problem down here at the bottom. So I'm going to start crawling some pieces along to fill in that problem there. Uh, I've got a few stuck browns at the top, but I know I'm going to get more browns later, so at this early stage, I don't really bother trying to fix these problems, because they just fix themselves. It's a real time race in my experience, trying to do that. Oh, I've got quite a problem down here with the blacks now. There we go. I'll tidy that up. Now the problem is not fixing itself, it's actually getting worse on this one, so let's take a black across. Fix these browns up. There we go. Bring in some browns down to the bottom here to try and keep the board nice and tidy. Now I'm just down to all the easy moves, so because it's earlier in the game, I'm just going to take these. Ah, that was a nice spawn, still no difficult moves. I mean, I move browns in at the top here. I'm going to drag them all the way down so that they get burnt. That way, I always have browns at the bottom and blacks at the top. And it makes it really easy to insert pieces later on. So see here, there's no tidying up involved because I'm just dragging the pieces to the end and burning them. And that is a real time saver. So there, normally I would have to drag that down a little bit, but because it's early on, you know, I can just drag it through the black pieces that I've set up here. And because I make sure it goes to the right hand column, it's always brown pieces that get burnt down there. But once you get to this stage, it's a lot more difficult to tidy things up like that. So always make sure that you keep those browns at the bottom and the blacks at the top for as long as you possibly can. quite a few mistakes there. See there, I'm just rescuing those two blacks at the top because they may come in handy later on. I think I was a bit too hasty there on the easy moves. I probably should have again been a bit more patient. This is what I mean by really pushing yourself past your limit because this is getting really uncomfortable for me. I'm not used to taking it this far. But with a bit of luck, I should be able to do this. And there we go. That's an extra column burnt. 
But believe me, I was not happy doing that. But that's the way you learn. There we go, I've got my two halves linked up now. Oh, this distilling it is not being very nice, giving me whites this time. Fortunately, that's just the way things go. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky. Usually it evens out in the end. There we go, we've got a few more whites spawning now. And because I've got my paths nicely set up, I can move these over nice and smoothly. I'm just going to move that up to the top a bit more, just to make things easy for myself. I would hope I get four whites spawned on this next go, or I'm going to have to abandon this. Oh well, I got a crystal clear ten, which yeah, I just got very unlucky white spawns on that one. But sometimes you can do very well, and you can just get unlucky. Other times you can do very badly, and you can score CC thirteen or fourteen or whatever you want to score.